today, the first Saturday, <coughs> two considerations. <coughs> the first Saturday in November here, so the uh, assembly goes to men. We'll be here again at St. Mary's. <coughs> but on this, uh, remember that Our Lady said a hundred years ago that Russia has put its errors throughout the world. And now, of course, we're experiencing that <coughs> in a visible way, but Russia has very much spread her errors throughout the United States. And uh, through the, in this last election, which was the first Tuesday of November, a couple of days ago, where Trump won the presidency by <coughs> a great, uh, an actual landslide of votes, and that, <coughs> and that the voting fraud was everywhere in the country, in every single place, the voting fraud with machines, with the throwing out of the ballots, um, <coughs> you know, even in Philadelphia and, and uh, in large, large cities where Trump had uh, such a great uh, turnout and many um, <clears throat> great vote in his name, but he won, his, uh, won the votes, and yet <clears throat> it was stolen away. The election was stolen away. And in fact, there are several things happening in this battle. And one is remember <clears throat> the, 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 what happened in the election now, the stealing of the election, and a man like Biden being trying to be put in, hopefully, hopefully he can be stopped before the January 20th comes around. <clears throat> however, however, the Biden character uh, is spoken of by Aristotle, 300 years before Christ was born. And he says that one of the problems of the whole de de democracy, the, the democratic form of government, is that the, the weakness of the democratic form of government, by which leaders are chosen by way of vote, is that over time every democracy will corrupt. When you have a king, a king can corrupt, but then he can be replaced by a good king. But the system is, is not built for corruption. If you have a bad leader, well, then you have a bad king. If you have a good leader, then you have a good king. But one of the problems of democracy, <clears throat> the very form of government spoken about Aristotle, is that what eventually happens with this lowest form of government, democracy is the lowest form of government, it's not an evil form of government, that's the lowest form of government. The reason it's the lowest form of government is because it is given over to corruption by its nature. It easily hands itself over to corruption. Because if a man is going to rule for four years, or six years, or two years, or five years, whatever the number may be, and then he has to be re-elected, then when he becomes the president, or the king, or whatever leader he is, he has to be concerned about his future election. Also, it's going to be hard for him to be elected over and over again. So therefore, what will happen is, over time, in a democracy, there will become a hidden oligarchy that will be behind it. And this hidden oligarchy will be those who make presidents, those who make kings, those who make the leaders of government and society. These will be the ones who finance them, the ones that get them the votes, the ones that put them in power. And what Aristotle tells us about the weakness of democracy is that as time progresses, this form of government leads to the rule of the corrupt. That the corrupt are the ones who will actually, in the end, rule in a democracy. And we see this now happening in the United States. We take, even if you took away communism, we have Russia's business areas throughout the world. You have to take away the Bilderbergers and the, and the bigger problem of the preparing for the kingdom of the Antichrist. So you have, you have world government being prepared throughout the entirety of the world to make one world government. You have an organized corruption of the people being done by our school systems and by our media teaching lies to the people from the time they're born until the time that they die. <clears throat> you have a completely corrupt system because of the evil of the world that's prepared for the Antichrist. But even if there was, we are not in the time of communism, and even if we are not in the time of, of, of the Bilderbergers being well advanced in the preparation for a one world government, preparation for the coming of the Antichrist. Because remember that preparation of the Antichrist, remember the Antichrist is not God. The Antichrist will be simply an ordinary man. You shoot him, he dies. He gets a cold, he gets a cold. He, gets, he has cancer, he has cancer. He has no special abilities in himself. And Satan is just Satan. He's just a spirit that breathes advices, passes on advices. 
So therefore, the devil must prepare well in advance for the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast requires tons of technology. If God wanted us to be able to buy and sell with a mark on our fingers or a mark on our forehead, it would take him one second to do it. He would simply make, this is the mark, you can buy and sell with it. Done. Finished. But Satan is not God. Satan does not have this power. In order for there to be a mark of the beast, without which it's impossible to buy or sell, there is required internet all over the world. There must be internet in every place of the world, and there must be the possibility for every human being, no matter how poor, to be able to purchase by means of computerization, to purchase it with a cell phone, and then later on we'll pass on to a mark on our foreheads and our hands. What is being done right now in this coronavirus evil that's going on? There be already the social, you have to have a social uh, uh, approval, and the social approval requires that you get a little green light on your cell phone, and when you go into restaurants now, when you go to a restaurant, they say, yeah, because of COVID, we don't want to hand you a paper uh, menu, so you get to use your cell phone and read the barcode. So the time will come when you go to buy a hamburger and a lemonade at Ralph's Lemonade Stand, if you, you will not be able to buy it without being able to have a cell phone. If your cell phone battery is dead, you won't be able to buy Ralph's Lemonade, you won't be able to buy Ralph's hamburgers. So that, what happened, why, why is this being done? In order to computerize all transactions. Why is it important to computerize all transactions? In preparation for the Antichrist. So that the time will come, you will not be able to buy or sell without this mark. Now this is the big evil in the, <clears throat> that is happening. The preparation for the Antichrist. The preparation for one world government. However, we know by prophecy that the Blessed Virgin Mary will bring an end to this. It will come back at the end of the world. But she will bring an end to it. And there will be a victory of the Blessed Virgin Mary and a period of peace. However, this is not the only thing that's happening. Suppose that there was no, that the, the Satanists were not yet in position to do all the things they're doing. There would still be a corrupt oligarchy ruling after 200 years of democracy. There would still be a, a, a corrupt oligarchy ruling in the background who are the makers of kings. There would be frauds in the elections. There's been frauds in elections well before this one. And you said now it is very clear and very plain that there is a massive fraud in the election. Now what is the answer to this problem? There must be a return to Christ. There must be a, a we should not return to our old democracy, but rather bring America under the kingship of Christ and bring America under a rule of, of a Catholic king and a Catholic, a Catholic rule. And that what's happening now is that we are seeing all the forms of corruption all coming together at the same time. The complete corruption of democracy is now reaching its perfection. Every democracy in the past has always collapsed by internal corruption. And that because the ones who make the kings end up being the kings, but no one knows who they are. These are the ones who pay the bills. These are the ones who put the ones in power. And they are hidden. Therefore, kings come and kings go. Presidents come and presidents go. And these are the ones that are visible. But behind are the wicked ones. Now we have a president who's trying to do something to stop some of the wickedness. A president who's trying to do something to, to slow down some of the tide of the evil going on in the world today. And what is happening? The oligarchy is showing itself. The oligarchy is showing itself at this time. And so that the, 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 the President Trump, by, by the rules of a true democracy, we're, we're supposed to be a republic and not a democracy, but by the rules of a true democracy, Trump is president and Trump has been reelected. The will of the people has been manifested. The people have voted by a massive landslide throughout the entire United States and, and have both by electoral vote and by real vote, when the real votes are actually counted, that, they, they, that, that Trump won. But did that make him be reelected? No, because there's something else that rules. There's someone else that rules. We have an oligarchy, in, 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 in the hidden oligarchy, that is the bankers and the, the, those that, 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 that rule the, the, the big business and so on, that rule the kings in an economic society such as ours. Now, just what happens, these bankers happen to be led by Jewish bankers who are preparing the way of the Antichrist. So what happens that these massive corporations are working together to get the whole world under one kind of rule. That's a problem because of the prophecies of the preparation for the making of one world government requires lots of preparation. But even if there wasn't the one world government and there wasn't 
the, the, uh, the communists as well advanced as they are today, we should still see elections like what happened a few days ago. Whenever there is the, the, the problem of Aristotle recognized that there is a problem in humanity, and that's called original sin. That we all have original sin. We can't forget about original sin. What are the effects of original sin? Darkening of the intellect, weakening of the will, and a strong inclination to evil. We are not forced to evil, but we have an inclination to evil. We have an inclination to sin, an inclination to greed, an inclination to impurity, an inclination to lie in order to cover our own, our own behinds. We have an inclination to evil. We do not have to commit sin, but we have an inclination to sin. And the weakness of democracy is that it is a government, a form of government which plays to those inclinations and makes it easier and easier for those that are inclined to wickedness to get away with their wickedness and harder and harder for those who are living by justice and living by virtue to win the day. Honesty is very difficult for honesty and truth to win the day in a democratic system over a period of time. So we must remember that our system is now showing the weakness of its of, of the system itself, <coughs> and that we're trying to many souls are trying to fight to <coughs> preserve Trump. If Trump is preserved, it will not be by the democratic system. It won't be by the courts. It will be because of the will of heaven. We must remember that heaven controls. God controls all things, not only spiritual things but physical things. And that if God allows, if Our Lady allows, by the hand of God, to, to, to give us a little reprieve from the wickedness that we deserve, we deserve the punishment that comes from a Biden presidency. We deserve the punishment that comes from a, a corrupt world, a corrupt government, because we're too involved in materialism. However, we must understand that in order to defeat the wickedness that the, of those communists that stand behind Biden, that in order to defeat them, it is only possible by supernatural means. We have to recognize that, that we need to pray to heaven, pray to, uh, to, to, to Our Lady, that, that she protect us, and that she bring quickly her victory. But we are now getting, the situation in the world is getting worse and worse. We don't want to go back to the good old days of the democracy that was on its way down. When you're falling out of a skyscraper, you don't want to go back to the good old days when you were falling at the 50th floor. You want to be off, you want to be not falling at all. You don't want to be one floor ready to hit the concrete. You want to go back up to 50 floors. No, you want to get completely out of the whole fall. We don't want to, we don't want to be falling off of a skyscraper. We, would need to get, we need to bring back our country to the rule of Christ. Christ is the one who must rule in the United States. And we must understand that in order to defeat or, or, or seriously hold back the evil, we have to turn to Christ. St. Pius X was in a wicked time very similar to ours. And Pius XII also. Pius XII tried to find a, a medium way. He tried to find a political way in order to hold back the tide of communism and to hold back the tide of the devil. And Pius XII failed. And the situation of the church and the world got worse and worse throughout his reign. St. Pius X was in a worse situation without any support. But St. Pius X had complete confidence in the supernatural means, complete confidence in the faith and the grace of God, and that this is the way to defeat Satanism, to defeat communism, to defeat the destruction of the church, which was fully infiltrated 100 years ago. And St. Pius X defeated it, or he held it back for more than 50 years. He had a, he, we were given a reprieve by St. Pius X for the whole world, and many souls were saved by that reprieve. He gave us the answer to modernism, gave us his civil machinery, he gave us holy communion at a young age. He stood up against all of the errors of the world in 1900, 1903 to 1914, and he held back the tide of the devil. And so that it, he held it back because it was complete confidence in the supernatural. And we have to recognize in our present battle that only the complete confidence in the supernatural is going to give us the victory. So a few days ago, Trump won the election. He did all the things you're supposed to do. Went all over the country, had rallies, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 people at every rally all over the entire country. Told people to get out and vote, and they all got out and voted. He told poll watchers to go watch the polls, and they went to watch the polls, and they weren't allowed in, they were not allowed to watch the polls. He did everything according to the rules. 
And when he did all the things according to the rules, it didn't work. Because those are the rules of democracy, but they aren't the rules that work in the real world of man infected with sin, man infected with lies, man infected with original sin. Then we have to have to stand upon justice, stand upon the supernatural, and recognize that God alone is the one, only those who serve God are going to be able to defeat Satan. And Satan is the one behind all the wickedness that's going on in the world today, and it's reaching its climax, and we're not going to be able to defeat Satan without turning back to the supernatural. And so in this election that happened only a few days ago, the uh, Trump did win. Trump is the president, uh, president now and the president-elect, but it doesn't matter. They don't care. The truth doesn't matter to the devil. And, and the fact is that, that by the rules of democracy, he's, he is the president. But the weakness of democracy is that it leads to a corruption so that those who make kings also unmake kings. Trump didn't do what they wanted to do, so they removed him. They removed him. And so they are striving to remove him. If God allows them to be removed, it's because that's what God wishes was best for our supernatural development, for our, for, for our purification. And if God allows them to stay, it will also be because that which is best. But he wants us to pray. Pray that what was best for our country be done. Remember that there we must pray to heaven that, uh, that we be protected by heaven in this battle in which we are. And it is a battle of heaven versus hell. And open your eyes and see. Each of the things that are happening are all preparation for the Antichrist. Prophesied 2,000 years ago. Every step is a preparation for the Antichrist. And we're asking for a reprieve to delay the coming of the Antichrist. Of course, he can't come right now because of the victory of matter. And we're asking for a reprieve that we be that the Blessed Virgin Mary bring her victory very soon. And that, the, the, and that uh, we must remember supernatural response is what's needed in the present crisis, <clears throat> and that what is that which will defeat defeat the enemy. And though though it's okay to do some physical things, like the anti anti abortionists going out in front of abortion clinics, that's all good. But they must remember it is for the it is only <clears throat> the supernatural that defeats the the, the the attacks of the devil. And we must remember that in this present time. Bless you all in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost.